Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod, and this is Star Wars 7x7. So we're continuing our series of deep dives into the last Jedi novelization, and today I want to talk about Luke. It's the thing I wanted to tell you about yesterday, but we ran out of time on it. And it has to do with the fact that he cracks himself open to the Force for the very first time in many, many years, and we got a little bit of this, a little sense of it in the movie itself when we get to see him meditating and he reaches out and he feels Leia's presence all the way across the galaxy and, a galaxy, and she responds to that as well from the midst of her coma and just starts to twitch and says, Luke, in her sleep, in her, is it medically induced coma? We don't know necessarily, but... It's a coma nonetheless. Anyway, she is starting to recover out of it thanks to the connection that Luke makes with her all the way across the stars. Now, as a result, Luke makes a decision that we had no idea he was making when we saw him approaching Ray's hut in The Last Jedi. We had no idea that this was going on in his mind, but I'm going to give you the excerpt from the Last Jedi novelization audiobook. This is Mark Thompson doing the performance of Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, and here is what is going on in Luke's mind just before he sees Ray and Kylo Ren together. Ray, you were right, he called as he crossed the meadow in the driving rain. Lightning flashing overhead. I'm coming with you, Ray. Luke had shut himself off for so long, and now the Force was roaring around him. Ray was right. She needed him, as did Leia, and the Resistance, and all those desperate for hope. I'll tell you, I don't know why I'm making the faces. I mean, the audio is not being added until after I do the editing, so as I'm making those faces, it's just utterly dead silent in here. There's nothing going on. I just know what I'm going to be dropping in there, which is, holy cow, he was going to go with her. He was going to say, Ray, I'm coming with you. I'm going to go back and fight the First Order with you. How incredible. And then for him to find her and Kylo Ren having that conversation and having that sort of you know intimate connection, well, that just blows it all out of the water, and he cannot recover from it. He's just, all right, that's it. I'm definitely done. And it might have to do with, I mean, maybe it's the dark side connection. Maybe it's the fact that he knows that Rey is drawn to the dark side, or at least has a weakness in the sense that she wants to know what's going to happen to her parents. Maybe she, or what happened with her parents, who they are. Maybe she has a weakness where Kylo Ren is concerned, but Luke doesn't know that. She's already said, you know, Kylo Ren failed you and I won't, but is this proof somehow in Luke's mind that maybe she could fail him or that maybe Kylo could sway her to the dark side of the force? Like, there's got to be a lot of things running through Luke's mind in the moment that he sees Rey and Kylo together like that. But to go from, oh my gosh, I'm coming with you and I was so wrong and I'm going to go fight the fight to, oh God, what was I thinking? This is a horrible idea. Uh, that was crushing. It was absolutely crushing to hear it in the novelization that way. And this all comes on the heels of something that's about as beautiful as you can get, which is in his meditation, he is remarking upon the fact that he's forgotten there's not just the living force, but there's also the cosmic force. So we're getting different definitions, broader definitions of what the force is. And the cosmic force has an awareness, a purpose, and a will as Luke describes it, or at least as the narrative describes it while Luke is experiencing it. But, oh man, for him to be thinking that he was ready to make up for lost time, that he was so relieved to see that the Falcon was still there when he was heading back to talk with her, uh, yeah, heartbreaking. And the rest of the scene pretty much goes down the way that you saw it in the movie, so nothing really additional to add there, but anyway... Yeah, so that's the big news, that Luke was ready to join the fight again, only to see Rey and Kylo Ren. Oh, man, what could have been? All right, that is going to do it for the meat of the podcast, at least the video portion thereof. So you can check out sw7x7.com slash iTunes or wherever you like to listen to podcasts for a little bit more. But in the meantime, it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be.